Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Woodbrew video. In this week's video, we are going to be making this sweet little reception desk. This is actually for a client, which we haven't done in quite a while on this channel. We've been doing a whole bunch of stuff for ourselves and really cool, interesting projects. But this will be the first sort of local client gig that we've had in quite a while. So I'm excited to get started. As always, though, we do have plans available. So if you're interested, you can check the link in the description below to download you a set of plants. Molly will be back. She's out of doing a photo shoot right now for somebody. And what she does, hopefully I will be done cutting everything out so she can help me with assembly. So what I've got here is I've got a whole bunch of plywood. I've got some boards off camera. I've got my cut list here and my cut layout list. So I'm just gonna spend the next hour or so cutting every piece out for this project. And that way when it's time to start assembling, everything just goes together super quick and easy. So without further ado, let's get started. We are using MDF for the walls or panels of the desk as well as for the slats around the entire thing. So first we are going to cut a full 4x8 sheet down to size for the panels, then cut down the slats to an inch and a half. Moving on to the plywood, we are using birch plywood and this will be for the desktop and for the framing that the desktop will sit on. The desktop is good to go from the table saw, but we need to cut down the framing pieces to length over at the miter saw. Next up, we need to cut down all the trim pieces to length. For this, we are using all select pine boards. You can find these at Home Depot. These trim pieces range from a 1x4, 1x6, and a 1x8. The 1x6 are mainly for the front and side panels of the desk, and the 1x8s are for the little shelf that comes up from the main desk area. Everything is now cut to size, we are now needing to go ahead and make the custom bits of the desk. In the top of the desk, we are putting in three holes for computer and other miscellaneous cords to run through. First thing is to make your marks and drill out your pilot hole. A little trick to keep the plywood from tearing out is adding a painter's tape or masking tape first, and then using either a hole saw or a four center bit to make the hole. We drilled out the three holes halfway into the top side and then flipped it over to finish it out. Then peel off the tape and voila. One thing we love to do is take a roundover bit and go over all of the edges. This one is a 16th inch astro coated roundover bit from Bits and Bits. This is much faster than sanding the edges and looks so much better. We basically use this bit on everything to make those crisp looking edges. You can use the promo code WOODBREW15 to get 15% off your order if you're interested. Next, grabbing that 1x8 to cut out cord slot holes. This is a trim piece going on top of the desk into the back and will hide all of the cords running behind it. The slots are big enough to slide in a power strip and keep it tucked away and out of sight.
it's time to start assembling. Starting with one of the side panels, we have clamped down the trim boards to the MDF panel and using a scrap piece of that select pine as a spacer, we can glue and pin nail all of those slats. Moving right along, same thing to the front panel, only this time we started on one side, worked our way in just a little bit, then switched to the other side, adding some more slats. Once we got towards the middle, we could attach the last few slats accordingly depending on the space we had left. We are going to go ahead and pre-paint the panels to make the process much easier. I think we did about three coats of paint on all of the panels. We are going to go ahead and pre-paint these panels before assembly to make the process much easier. Once those are dry, we can attach those trim pieces around all of the sides. With the front panel, the side trim pieces have a little overhang so the sides can come in right behind it and you'll only see those front trim boards. Once those were attached, we flipped the whole panel over and screwed in those trim boards from the back. And then repeat all those steps to the two side panels. Set those aside and let's make our desk frame. After everything is screwed and support pieces are in place, we can bring up a side panel, lay it on its side and attach the frame to it. After the second side is attached, we move the entire piece to the floor and move the front panel around to get it assembled into place. Let me tell you, that was not an easy task. For a little more support, we added in corner brackets to the top and bottom on each joint from the inside. Now just glue and screw the desktop and all the trim pieces into place. So we've gotten to the finishing stages of this project and oftentimes it's one of the last pieces of the puzzle that people overlook when in reality it's one of the most important steps in the entire project. This can greatly dictate how long your project is going to last and how long it's going to continue to look great as well. You guys know that we've been partnering with Total Boat for quite a while now. They make amazing finishes, epoxies, all kinds of stuff in the marine world and we've been using the Halcyon Clear Finish for a while on basically every single project we've been doing. We spray it on. It's super simple. It's water-based. It dries within an hour. Super great stuff. However, on this project, we are going to use Total Boat's Gleam 2.0. Now this is a marine spar varnish. This is a heavy, heavy duty finish. If you want something that's going to last a very long time, either indoors or outdoors, this would be a really great option for you. The reason we're going extra heavy duty on this project 
is because this will be in a commercial space. This is gonna be in a gym setting, and there's gonna be people walking in and out around it all the time. Someone will be using it almost daily, and it's surrounded on three sides by windows, meaning that it's gonna get a lot of direct and indirect UV light from the sun. A lot of people don't realize that, but you can get just as much UV light through a window as you can just standing outside. It's the reason why you get a sunburn even when you're underneath a canopy at the beach. Same thing. So we're gonna use this, it's got some extra UV inhibitors in it. It is super, super durable. And I think it's gonna be a great choice for this project. Normally, again, we would spray this stuff, but right now the weather is not cooperating, so we're indoors. And I don't really feel like setting everything up to do a full spray booth in here. So I'm just gonna brush all of this on, which will actually be probably more applicable to all you out there, because it is fairly easy to brush on if you don't have a sprayer. It goes on nice and even and will self-level a little bit. So super easy finish to apply. If you're interested in any of the finishes that we use, we always put them in the link in the description below. And because we're partners with Total Boat, they give you guys a nice little discount code. So next time you need some for a project, consider checking out the link in the description and using the coupon code. Without further ado, let's jump right into the finishing process. After a few coats of finish, we let it sit and cure in the shop for about five days before we moved it to our client's gym. We did this so there's plenty of time for the finish to cure without any cleaning chemicals being put on it right away. This is the front desk to a gym so there will be a ton of traffic around this and the finish needs to last as long as possible. That is going to do it for this week's video. We do have a set of build plans down below if you are interested. We hope you guys enjoyed this build and we will see you in the next one.